Drugs, gangs, violence, gritty facts of life if you grew up in the 80s on the tough streets of East LA. For one kid only had eyes for chrome rims and tricked out cars. And by pursuing that passion for custom rides, he found himself a new life, this time on Easy Street. Meet Miles Kovacs. Bring it up, straight ahead. This red rim is pop. I'm Miles Kovacs, I'm the king of customs, and tricking out cars has made me millions. It looks sick. If it has to do with custom cars, I've done it. I founded Dub Magazine, Design Wheels, built cars for celebrities. My custom automotive empire is worth about $30 million right now. Whoa, that thing sounds like a beast. My business started out as a hobby. I mean, this is what I did my whole life. I mean, this whole dub world started with my passion for cars. I'm a street kid from East LA, a very, very rough neighborhood. A lot of gangs, a lot of violence. When I was young, there was some people from the neighborhood that had low riders and things like that. So I'd ride my bike over there and they would let me sand cars, put on wheels or change the suspension. I knew from that day on that that's what I wanted to do. Low riding, car culture, you know, building cars, it kept me out of gang, kept me out of being a drug dealer. It also led a 16-year-old Miles to his first job at a local wheel shop. I was so happy. You know, I was getting paid to do something that I loved. I worked my way up from the delivery driver to the tech guy to the, you know, doing mechanical stuff to sales to sales management. And what I realized was I've been working for my money. I got to get my money to start working for me. And any entrepreneur will tell you, if you want to start a company, start with something you love. When I first came up with the concept for Dub, I remember I picked up Lowrider magazine. Lowriders usually have 13 or 14 inch wire wheels. But I looked at it and about 60, 70% of their advertisers were big chrome rims. So I sat there and said, you know what? If somebody puts out a magazine that caters to this bigger wheel market, then it will take all those advertisers away from Lowrider or share them. So Miles scraped together every cent he had and tried to make his big idea an even bigger business. I left my job to start Dub Magazine in 1999. And I was like, okay, I don't know anything about magazines. I could barely read, but you know what? Let's go at this. You got the new magazine cover? Yeah, I do. Let's check it out. To fund their fledgling company, Miles and his partner started designing custom rides. Their work soon caught the attention of some local celebrities, which gave Miles a brilliant idea. Nothing sells magazines like stars with kick-ass cars. So the very first cover of Dub Magazine featured Latrell Sprewell. He actually owned a custom car shop in San Gabriel, California. So he was super pumped up. We got him on the cover and boom. That put Dub on the map worldwide. And then immediately after that, the celebrities were lining up to work with us. What up, Trav? This thing Sorry, is brother? crazy. Everything good? Oh my gosh. And with all that celebrity attention, Dub Magazine was on its way. Dub Magazine is valued at about 15 million. We are trying to protect a gross 30% margin. But Miles wasn't satisfied with a successful custom car magazine. He wanted a custom car empire. We're building all these cars. And what I realized was, hey, we're subcontracting these garages out to build the cars. Why don't we just build it ourselves? Ferrari 458, this is a $200,000 car. This is a beast. On some of these custom builds, it costs up to $200,000. And a lot of it is labor. You get a lot of different products donated for these celebrities or cor corporate companies. I mean, out of that $200,000, you're making 60% profit. That's $120,000. That's a good day at the office. Then we usually build 10 a year or so. There's profits up to $1.2 million. And since Miles was making bank building cars, he figured he might as well reinvent the wheel. And then it's like, we're buying these rims. I'm an automotive wheel designer. Let me just start my own wheel company. And that's what I did. I've been designing automotive aftermarket wheels for the last eight years. I've sold, just in my styles alone and my brands, over a million wheels. At about $250 a pop, that's $250 million. And at about 5% income for us, that's 12.5 million in our pocket. And that's just for the rims. Add in the rest, and Miles is doing pretty damn well. The value of Dub Magazine and the wheel companies is worth about $30 million right now. And when you're a kid from the streets who's made millions, the first thing you do is help out the ones you left behind. 
I went and bought my mom and dad's home. I bought them brand new cars, and I even bought my in-laws' house and bought them cars. I live very happy, and that's something I'm proud of. Miles might have given some new cars away, but don't worry, he's still got a few left at his personal disposal. Check out what we have in the driveway today. Ferrari 458, 21 and Forgiato wheels. I mean, this car is a thoroughbred. One of the sickest Aventadors I've ever seen in my life. 2014 Toyota Tundra. When you're outdoors and you're getting stuck, this is the beast that you want to have. Sure, Miles has a soft spot for four-wheeled fun. But when he really wants a thrill, he only needs two. Motocross is my passion. The dirt bikes today are not cheap. These bikes are like ten, eleven thousand dollars $11,000. When we come riding, we roll out with the semis just like a factory race team. Growing up in East LA, I never thought I was supposed to achieve. Everyone's telling you what you can't do. No one's telling you what you can. So I want urban kids to be like, hey, if this dumb guy from East LA could do it, we could do it too. I didn't have to go and slang dope in order to drive that Mercedes. I slung dub. People that don't believe that a blue collar job could actually pay off, you're not working hard enough. <laughs>